So this is Connections Over Coffee, and we just jump on every month. Um, I always have to make sure I say the correct Friday because I have a meetup every Friday. This is the third Friday of every month. We jump on at 10 a.m., and I'm missing my co-mod this morning. Um, her name is Carmela, and she has an Airbnb in the Washington, D.C. area, and she's been over there working on her Airbnb. And so uh, she may be either en route or for whatever reason, not able to jump on this morning. Um, and then I have several gals that normally jump on in the mornings, but I don't see them yet this morning. So um, I'll tell you a little bit about me. It's, it's, this is just a, a way to kind of get to, to meet other folks and get to know each other. And okay. so um, my story is I was a single mom and I was working two minimum wage jobs. And uh, through a long laid out process, I, I discovered that nail techs in central Ohio made quite a bit of money. So, um, and that's kind of a funny story in itself because I was getting my nails done at the time. And uh, this little 19 year old nail tech was doing my nails. And I don't, uh, maybe it's because she was younger than me. I don't know, but I just felt like I could ask her, you know, how much do you make doing nails? you know and when she told me my chin was on the table I was like what so long story short at age 40 I went through cosmetology school just the nail tech program only because I didn't have the money or the time to do the full cos program and um, and ended up coming out at the other end with as a licensed uh, manicurist and took my state boards and took a job. And over the next 25 years, ended up owning a salon and knew that I wanted to uh, buy the real estate because that was going to be my retirement. And so I bought my first commercial building and started hiring nail techs and hairstylists. And ultimately over 25 years had five commercial buildings. And Basically, basically, my staff paid my my buildings for me, paid off my buildings for me. <laughs> and so with that, I was able to retire finally. And uh, once I retired, um, I just decided to just manage the property. And so I still have the five buildings. And uh, then I bought some single families. And so now that's what I do is is manage real estate in my retirement. So. Uh, and this back here is not what my office really looks like. My office, my office is in the corner of my kitchen of all things, because then I decided to give a try to do a uh, short-term rental. And so we've turned our home that we actually live in into a guest house. And so in Canal Winchester, I own the Caraway guest house. Now oh, here comes Carmela and we see we have Lynn, welcome. And so, um, so anyhow, so now I have the Caraway guest house here in Canal Winchester. So I'm right around the outer belt from you. Yes. And uh, so anyway, that's what I am doing currently. I'm, I'm retired and just managing the property. So good morning, Carmela. Good morning, Lynn. Oh, we've got Debbie coming in. So I was just telling my little backstory to Anne. Good morning. I love the back. I love your sign and that is like gorgeous. Now, this this is a virtual background. You can see when I move my head, it doesn't quite keep up, which is the reason I don't care for virtual backgrounds. Um, this was made off of Canva, of all things. Really? Yes. This was a, this was an autumn. This was a just this was one right in Canva. And then you could put something in this corner. And so what I did is I just scooted a little frame over there and put the KathyBinner.com in it like it was a picture on the wall. <laughs> and, that is so uh, cool. <laughs> yeah. Now, Debbie, you've got a virtual background, don't you? Where you are now? Oh, you're on mute. You're on mute. <laughs> there she is. Yes. Yes. That is my um, virtual background. And so mine I too. And see... When I turn my hair head a certain way, this this piece of hair disappears. See, it like disappears out of the picture. So if I turn this way, you can you can see both sides, and it looks like I actually you know have a face on this side. But anyway, it's what it is. Um, I just wanted to give it a try this morning, and um, and I like it. So I do too. And, it's very and, nice. And you see, yeah. Anne has hers kind of. She's using the blur fe feature behind her. 
yes. which I like that as well. That's that's a nice feature when you're out traveling. But the more I travel, it's hard for me to always have something to pop behind me. And um, this is just me. It's just on a little side note. I don't particularly like to see that somebody's in their bedroom and that the bed's behind them when they're on a Zoom call. Right. And, um, and when we get to uh, Florida, to our condo, which we're leaving Sunday, to go down there, um, my office is in the corner of the bedroom because it's just a little one bedroom condo. And Mark wants to watch TV out in the living room. And so I put my office, my office was in the living room for a while down there yeah. because that way, you know, the Zoom call would look okay. Um, but then he had to like go somewhere. He couldn't like walk around in the condo or he'd be in the back of the Zoom call. So, so I've moved my office to the bedroom. And so I'm hoping that this, um, this display will work for me there as well. I love you. Now, I like Debbie being in the library because when I do an evening Zoom call, I don't think I can use this backdrop because it's got all that sunshine coming through the window and they're going to say, isn't it eight o'clock at night where you are, Kathy? What, where's all that sunshine coming from? So anyway, um, we were just getting to know each other. I just uh, shared my entire backstory, the short version, you know, of, um, of me owning the salons and now being retired. And, um, and I'm not going to put Anne on the, uh, on the spot right up front, so we'll go with a couple of gals that I know already. And welcome, Lynn. I see that you're still muted and you don't have your camera on. You could be multitasking. I get that. So welcome. Um, Carmela, tell us a little bit, um, and, and this is going to be fun with Anne, tell us a little bit about where uh, you are physically located and where you are in your travels today and um, a little bit about your background. Well, today I'm coming to you from my dining room counter kitchen area in Lima, Ohio, Northwest Ohio. And um, I have a, well, my husband and I, we have a place in Maryland in Prince George's County, right outside of DC. I was just there Memorial Day weekend. Didn't get a lot of work done like I planned because my daughter came with her boyfriend and she had us going out and they were paying. So, you know, when your kids pay, you're like, go. <laughs> so saw some sites and I took advantage of that. But um, I am, I guess, Miss Jack of all trades. That's what I call it now. So I need to like put myself down and like put down what I do. I am a wellness advocate for doTERRA essential oils. I also am a partner with a girlfriend of mine and we're into real estate investing. And then I work as an administrative um, assistant to my husband and his law office. And majority of the time I work in his office on um, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And I'm usually coming to you on these calls from the law office. However, I am having a surprise baby shower tomorrow for um, a young girl at our church that's been there a short time, no family here. So my other hat is an event planner. So when I need to, I do that. So I'm decorating today after the call. So I'm coming to you from my home. So I took today off and I worked um, Tuesday and Thursday. <laughs> and I'm also a caregiver for my mom. So I tend to do that. And then I mentor young girls and things. So I, I'm kind of doing a lot of things lately. Um, I had someone tell me yesterday that they thought I was um, a motivator because some of my Facebook posts and Kathy, it, it, I hats off to you because you mentioned to me once, Carmela, you should think about doing a blog. And I'm like, okay, I, what would I put in a blog? And last night I was at a gala and they said, you know, some of your words, they just help me. And they come at the right time. They go, you really should do a blog. And I'm like, oh my gosh. <laughs> so okay, I, I think the universe is speaking to you, Carmela. Yes. <laughs> so like that was two people. And I'm like, okay, now, not that I thought you were, but it's like, okay, how do I do this? So now I'm like, that's, that's good. So now I have a whole course that I teach how to get a blog started. And believe it or not, we're actually um, in July. We start from the top and I'm looking for my folder here because I have, um, I have, oh, here it is. I have different um, 
little mastermind groups that I go through every month. And starting in July, it's a six month program and it's all, it, you know, you can jump in. Um, in July, we talk about how to choose a blog name. And then in August is all about how to get online. In uh, September, it's about customizing your blog. In October is about writing and how to publish. And then uh, November is promoting. And then in December, it is monetizing. And so uh, anyway, we go through that. Uh, Debbie has one. She's in our group. And um, so anyhow, uh, if you're interested, um, again, there's a free meetup. Everything is at kathybenner.com. You can see that right up there in the corner of my, <laughs> my, my, my virtual back, background. I put the little kathybenner.com up there. Um, anyway, it's all there. There's a free meetup for it. And then if you want to jump into the mastermind, let me know. Because if you're in uh, one of my masterminds already, I give you two masterminds um, for the price of one. So if you're in one of the masterminds already, you get the second one for free. So anyway, so that's my little spiel for today. Uh, Debbie, tell us about you. Good morning. I almost didn't make it. Um, <laughs> Uh, my uh, daughter from Charlotte is coming in tomorrow okay. for a week. And um, actually, okay. what's really kind of cool is um, uh, Kaylee, who has uh, acquired a uh, travel van, if you want to call it, camper, and she's bringing it with her. So that's going to be really kind of cool. To, to see what she, it's been converted. It was previous owner by two old ladies who, I mean, they thought of everything on, in this thing. Even um, a little seat in the passenger seat that they, the one lady uh, built to put their dog in. <laughs> and, <laughs> so, I mean, it's really, really oh, nice. And raised her hand. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. And um, but anyways, um, I'm got that kind of um, uh, on my mind today and she gets in tomorrow. So um, and then on Sunday, I go house sitting for my other daughter who's going to Ogilvy for their family reunion for three days. So that's kind of nice. And she's got a pool. So we still have hot weather. So I plan on uh, utilizing the uh, free time. And, um, and by the way, ladies, I have nine grandchildren. So for the next week, I will have all nine grandchildren together, which is awesome. It only happens like once or twice a year. So I'm excited about it. Wow. Um, and they're all going to be at your house. No, there, I mean, um, two are going to be here, but then the three are at Sandy's, which is around the corner. And Heather has four and they're two miles down the road. So yeah. Okay. I mean, so how, all, all right there. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it, that's awesome. And um, I've just been really kind of being busy. Um, I've had some spiritual awakenings within me um, this past week. So I've been really excited about um, exploring those and uh, but you know like you said i have a blog for my organic farming i have fairy tale gardens and um uh i also have um a, a go green on uh, facebook um for uh kind of in conjunction with uh my organic farming and um I've uh, came up with a, 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 well, I don't know, description. Um, I am your guide to find the miracle within yourself by creating a healthy lifestyle. And we all, you know, how many times have we been on a, on a weight loss program? We go two weeks and pff, then it goes bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> so so um so i'm really really working on on uh, um 
myself and losing weight. And uh, um, I've been making meals here for a couple of weeks now. And, and you know, I kind of think, oh, is Rick going to like this because of what it's made of? Well, he doesn't ask me what it is. And, and he loves it. Loves it. Yeah. So I'm, I'm really pleased with that. And uh, he doesn't realize that a couple of times I've actually given him cauliflower rice. <laughs> you and, must have the secret recipe then good for you <laughs> and then i um the other thing is i don't know if any of you have heard of the um palma palmari uh noodles and uh, it, it's p-a-l-m something well i did a lemon shrimp dinner one night and um Instead of using spaghetti pasta, I used that, and and it was in a pouch. You can get it in a pouch or in a in a can, and the pouch it's right on the shelf. So with the noodles, and it said on there if you like softer noodles to put in boiling water, and I did, and it was almost like eating spaghetti. You had no idea. So. Um, and is this like all vegetarian noodle or, or is it no yes, gluten it's, or? It's no gluten. It's um, uh, uh, palm hearts, if I okay. remember. Yeah. And, um, and if I could find a picture fast enough, um, I just, uh, uh, hang on. Mm, there it is. Oh, it's, I see it. Very low carb. Yes. Very, and it's called P A L M I N I. Yes. And it comes in in all different. You know, you can even buy it in a pouch to make lasagna. Oh, it doesn't so, let me do it on my with my virtual background. It cuts it out. <laughs> yeah. I can't yeah. Show it. Yeah. P A L M I N I. Yes. See, there's the low, dish low I made. Linguini. Mm -hmm. Yep. Gluten free. So it's it, and it's good. It's really good. I know it's kind of like, oh, do I really want to? Well, you know, if you do the little secret, you'll never know the difference. And I turn it back to you. <laughs> I love that. You know what? And this is why. This is why Debbie has a blog. <laughs> and this is information we need to know. Yeah. I love it. Oh, just I on a sad it. note, one, one more mention. Mm -hmm. My tomatoes are going to be really late this year because they're not even in the ground yet because my garden has just been, we thought it was going to like, it was drying out from the last two days. And what did it do? It poured last night again. Yeah. So again, tomatoes not in ground yet. <laughs> You know what? I still have some some seeds in my greenhouse and I, I've got them in the greenhouse, but I don't have them in the ground yet because it's just been so wet. And and of course, the weeds grow. The flowers I can't grow, but the weeds grow fine. <laughs> so whatever Isn't that's that about. the truth? Yeah. Lynn, welcome. It's good to see you again. Good morning. Tell us a little bit about you and what's going on with you today. I'm a little distracted, so I apologize. Um, one of the many things I do too is I um, transport injured or found turtles to the only turtle hospital in Ontario. I'm in Canada. And so right now I'm just trying to organize. Somebody's really slow getting back to me about timing. So I'm just one leg of the journey today. But one end is wanting to know what I want to pick up and the other end is wanting to know when I'm dropping off and there's the person in between that I can't, I've got a, sorry. So it usually goes a little smoother than that. So yeah, I just, uh, it's uh, about an hour and a half away, the hospital and my daughter goes to university there. And I have a niece who's a doctor of um, environment, all her studies for turtles. So it kind of works that I can, um, you know, help my niece out with her profession and I can visit my daughter and I can help out. So um, I've been doing that for a few years now. My daughter's home from university, but I'm still doing it. But this time I'm actually just doing a leg from one side of my city to the other side of my city. And then they're going to take it on up to the hospital. So 
anyways, I don't know the story sometimes until I pick them up, if they're just found or right now they're just starting to come out of hiding and they're getting hit by cars. So they're usually um, injured. So I'd like to get them up there as soon as we can. It's a very big network. Um, getting many emails a day, three, four times a day, usually 10 or 12 turtles per email. So it's, um, it's a big network of us. But anyways, that's one little thing. The other thing is, is nothing's changed since the last time I saw you ladies. Um, <laughs> I'm still in the middle of a divorce, which I'm, I'm all very okay with the divorce. In fact, I'm slightly excited. Um, independence is my thing. <laughs> so it's, not been a real hardship in that way that I will be on my own. I have three daughters and I've raised them very independent as well. So uh, mommy has to practice what mommy preaches. <laughs> so I am okay. I lived on my own separately, bought my own house, did the whole thing before I got married. It's just kind of finding those roots again to, to, uh, to be me again and finding who I am. I've been a stay at home mother for 30 years. So who am I um, and what am I going to do? Uh, I'm 61, so it's like, hmm, what am I going to do for the rest of my life? I, I hope my daughter said the other day, I'm very happy. She's like, oh, you're in a midlife crisis. I'm like, I don't actually find it a crisis, but I have to be careful because it is for my children. It is for my children. I'm very sensitive to that. But I kind of hung on to the midlife word, like midlife, I'm 61. That means I'm living to 122. <laughs> So hey, I better, you know, get something <laughs> time, you know, get, keep myself healthy. So it's kind of where I'm at. I'm kind of at a little bit of trying to find something that is going to, I really feel I want to be excited and get up and have purpose. Um, and being in limbo has been quite difficult. And then we've had a business, we have a business. So that is what's taking so much time valuating. You can't split things until you know the value of them. Um, so the valuing of the business has been quite challenging. Somebody doesn't want to give up the paperwork that somebody needs to. Um, judge had to really help him with that. <laughs> so anyways, I think we're getting to the end of that. So again, financial Actually, I think I'm going to be fine, but I don't know that. And I've been living with that limbo for a few years too. Am I working? Am I going back to work at my age? Uh, do I have to? Do I want to? I may want to. I don't yeah. know. Do I have to. So I have, um, like I said, my daughter's home for university. So me and her have lovely dinners and play games most evenings. We're Scrabble and all kinds of stuff goes on here in the evening. So, but I have the day to myself and I keep myself quite busy I look after my mom as well we go back and next week we're actually taking her away for a few days so um and Monday I've joined many groups of ladies so this one other group is a bit of a travel -y group so we <clears throat> not travel is in terms of airplanes but somebody's got a cottage so we're going to somebody's cottage for the day Monday for craft day but somebody teaches tai chi and somebody else teaches jewelry making so I'm not quite sure what we're doing and she's on the water so we may have to go for a swim I'm a scuba diver as well so anyways water is me so and the three days with my mom next week so I have one free day next week so it's not like I've got tons of time but I, I feel like I'm filling my time and I want to do something more purposeful I think um, than what I'm doing now and not that my mother's not part of that that's I'm happy to do that but it's just bits and pieces here and there um, so I used to be a dental assistant, worked for the city of Toronto, worked for some private dentists. Um, so that's my background. But when I left that, there wasn't even computers in the offices. So I kind of feel very out of sorts. Um, so that's just me. I'm really just trying to join a lot of groups, putting myself out there, listening, learning, seeing what connects, what resonates. Um, I'm in Canada, so I think there's a lot of um, things that happen in the States that doesn't really apply or able for me to do, um, but that doesn't stop me. I'm still kind of trying to find something that just lights, lights the fire. So anyways, that's me.
Well, I, I get it. I get it. I, I know when I was retiring from the salon industry, I, I knew that I could like totally reinvent myself and do whatever it was I wanted to do. And I didn't know what I wanted to sometimes do. Sometimes all that choice is not that easy to deal with. Exactly. You know, sometimes are easier because you've got less choices. But so and I must say, I have to leave in about 15 minutes to meet this driver for this turtle. So well, thank you so much for joining us this morning. I wanted to join you guys, but I thought this would be over by the time we started and it isn't still going on here. <laughs> oh, I just, I, I love that you've joined in this morning. Thank you for being with us, Lynn. And it's, I don't have a business, but thank you for having me. Well, and again, you don't have to have a business to be here. Uh, sometimes it, the conversation goes that direction, but you don't have to have a business to be here. It's all about just getting connected over coffee. I've got my, my cup of coffee here. <laughs> so anyway, yeah. Does everybody have their coffee? Does everybody have a coffee cup? Yeah. I have a cup. I have a cup. Does that okay. Hold, hold up your cup. We're going to, I'm going to do a print screen. Hold. Oh, see my cup. I got to have a bowl. Cup. I just finished eating. That's why I didn't want to. I got to get my cup where it shows. I got to put it here. I'm doing tea. All right. That's Smile, everybody. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you so much for that. That was fun. So, Lynn, thank you for sharing so much. And I, I just, I love the whole thing about the turtles. That's, that's, yeah, that is just fun it's that you're doing fun. that. Yeah, it's fair. I mean, I've learned bits and pieces. My niece is, um, been in the uh in the field for a long time so we've heard an awful lot of stories and she has such a heart for them and she actually knows this doctor the only doctor that we know this turtle doctor and she knows her personally she's the best doctor so she's so in love with turtles um not that finding a job you know as a doctor dealing with turtles is an easy feat for her so she's doing other things but um yeah animals are animals i'm an animal lover of so their turtles I just lost my dog a few months ago. It's killed. So, oh, me, so I'm sorry. Yeah. yeah. Consider my the daughter was still at university too. Like I'm here by myself with the dog and now the dog is gone. And that structure is gone. We're feed the dog medicine at this time, meals at this time. Got out of bed because you know, you know, you need medicine. So let's get up. Um, I don't even have that. I have no structure. And that between being a stay-at-home mom and looking after children and their schedules and the dog and their schedule, like I've got no structure now. With the dog gone, nothing. I can do anything. But the freedom's lovely, but it's different. That's all. Yeah, I get it. I get it. I, I sometimes struggle with that too. And it 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 takes me sometimes when my my world changes a little bit, it takes me a couple of days to get into a new structure or into yeah. a new new habits. Um, but yeah, it is it is kind of tough. And when you have when you're living with other folks, you know, there's there's commitments, there's things that you need to do. And yeah, even if it's just done. putting the coffee on, you know, yeah. but when it's just you, it's like, ah. <laughs> it's like I can lie in bed all day. I don't, but I, I could actually lie here all day. There's no reason to get up today. <laughs> Sorry, I've got an attack. Okay, let's find that. But yeah, just meeting up with her where and when and when she's leaving. I think, okay. Okay, well, just let us know. Just give us a wave if you have to go. We understand. Oh, ourselves. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> and we're going to circle to you. Tell us a little bit about you and uh, and where you're actually coming to us from and uh, and a little just a little bit about what's going on with you today. Okay, so I'm in Westerville, Ohio, which is outside of Columbus and around the freeway from Kathy. <laughs> so, um, which, and, and I'm just here. So I have no, I think meetup said, do you want to go to this meetup? And it, and I thought, well, the, I'll just experiment with this kind of thing. Um, well, and actually, <laughs> you're welcome. Um, and, and I can identify, actually, I can identify a lot with what Lynn is saying. And I think a lot of people can, because um, that's sort of, I've started a blog um, because I've always intended to live to be at least a hundred. And when, you know, whether you retire when you're 60, 65, 70, um, that's 30 years. And mm -hmm. if you are still healthy, um, it's sort of like, what, I'm going to sit around and relax kind of thing. I never really intended to retire. Um, I was actually riffed out of my job when I was 70. And so then I've been working on trying to figure out 
you know, how, how to be in control of myself. I think, you know, it's really hard to create this routine, um, create the structure, manage yourself. So I write about this idea of, you know, learning to manage yourself because you don't have a job to go to. You don't have anybody telling you what to produce, what to create, and we're creative people. So that's, you know, um, so that's sort of where I'm going someday, maybe I will get to the point where I've written enough things that I'm ready to try and put them together and ask people to pay for it kind of thing. But I think it's, it's a problem that's getting recognized more and more. You see more books about, you know, this idea of making something out of your retirement kind of thing that, that it's good for you, it's healthy, those kinds of things. So that's sort of a little about where I'm going. Um, the, you know, and so I, I belong to, I, I'm part of the board for the neighborhood that I live in, for the HOA neighborhood where I live. Um, I'm thinking about applying to be on um, an advisory board for city council here in Westerville. So that, you know, gets me out to meet more people and to find out more about what's really going on with the people that are, I don't, you know, I don't really like this word retired and I don't know how to classify, how to classify these people that are ready for, you know, making the best life of the rest of their life because they have, for the most part, at least here in the United States, you know, we have, most of us have a little financial cushion. So it's not like when we were 18 or 20, you know, first of all, when you're 18, 20, 25, people are telling you exactly what to do. Nobody's telling us what to do now, unless our kids want to become helicopter kids. And there are some of those out there. But, I got but, one that can tend to do that. She needs yes. to. <laughs> Right. No. So nobody's telling us, telling us what to do, what, what college to go to. Um, you know, we don't have anybody in the job situation that's telling us, you know, what to do. Because even if you were an entrepreneur at 20, there was, there was a good roadmap kind of stuff. Yeah. And, and it fit with, um, you know, how to manage your family. You don't, most of us don't really have families to manage in the same way, you know, and there, there are no books. There are no ceremonies. There are nothings for us. And so I write a lot about those kinds of things and think about them a fair amount um, kind of thing. So I work on health. I try, you know, so I spend, in, in my good days, I'm spending probably an hour a day exercising because I think that's really important um, kind of stuff. So that's, that's a little, my back, my real background was, <laughs> I'm basically um, a, a, a organizational performance project manager kind of person. So I worked with IT teams. Um, I managed IT projects. I coached people, biz, did business coaching with people in terms of how to be a better manager, how to get more out of your staff, all of those kinds of things. That's what I did in my professional life, I guess you call it. So that's a little bit about me kind of thing. So where did this, how did this group come about? And, and, you know, what are you doing here? Can you <laughs> well, tell me the group, yeah, the group is called Connections Over Coffee, and it's our time to rise. And it's based around a book called uh, Our Time to Rise. And um, my friend wrote the book, authored the book. And I um, was, and Debbie has it, I know it's hard to see <laughs> when, uh, okay. Yeah, it's, it's hard to see with our virtual backgrounds. Um, but I wrote the foreword for the book for my friend. And I just wanted to have a way that we could just connect with each other. Uh, and through the pandemic, especially when folks, uh, especially if you work single or retired or kind of in your house all by yourself, you had no connection right. with folks. And, and unlike you know, in the, in the business world, or even when we could, you know, go to the local corner to the coffee shop and meet up with our friends, we couldn't do that for so long. And so this was a way that we could still stay connected. And what happened is that the group was, was coming in to this call, um, you know, again, from Toronto, from, <laughs> from all these other areas. 
that we just kept it virtual and that way everyone could still tap in even though we weren't in the same city it wasn't like we had to go all meet at a coffee shop on a friday morning we could actually do our coffee shop virtually so it's like a little virtual coffee shop and okay. so we just invite everyone that wants to come uh to to jump in we've had a lot of different folks over the last year that have come and gone um, you know, sometimes Friday isn't a good time for them, uh, but we've just kept consistent on that third Friday at 10 and just whoever wants to join us is welcome to join us and 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 we've made some connections and friendships and I've gotten to know Carmela better. Carmela is my co-mod for the group and I've gotten to know her a lot better and what she's all about. And yes, she is as busy as she seems. <laughs> And so uh, anyway, that's kind of what we're about. It's it, we're we're not really all about business, but we do end up having some entrepreneurial type conversations um, because a lot, like you said, Anne, a lot of us are, are creative and, you know, and we're we're creating, you know, something, whether it be, you know, social media post or a blog or um, or just whatever we're like Debbie is creating all of her homesteading, you know, I mean, that's what she does. And, you know, and so all of that kind of comes into the conversation. So. Yeah, that's so, so um because i also facilitate two um longevity masterminds and actually I, is it your mastermind workshop that's coming up soon there's there's a mastermind i <laughs> do i do eight a month and so it could be one of mine that you're talking about yeah because um, i'd like to learn more about about doing that as well because i just where they're both um sort of uh self-improvement, self-development self um, mastermind groups for women who are 50 and forward kind of thing. And so I, I love that. D does everybody mind? Can, may I share my screen for just a moment? Does everybody have a moment? I won't take a lot of time to do it, but I'll just share my screen for just a moment uh, so that you can see what I'm doing and just bear with me here until it pops up. Takes just a minute to pop up. This is actually my website. And what I wanted to show you on the website is there's eight online programs and there's a free meetup for each of these. So there's a free meetup for this Fit as a Fiddle. I have a co-mod uh, here, Rita Brewer. And then there's a free meetup. This is long-term real estate. This is short-term real estate. Each, each lane has a free meetup, a course, and a mastermind. And okay. here, here is the build a better business. We just talk about how to go from a startup to full-time gig and it is complete. It does have the course and the mastermind and Debbie's in our mastermind here. And then we have the blogger group and it has all three. Uh, we have writing from anywhere in the world. We're just doing the free meetup at the moment. We're interviewing authors. So if any of you have authored anything, let me know because we're interviewing authors on this one. Um, and then here is our connections over coffee and Carmela is uh, the comod here. And this okay. is the one you're talking about, Anne. This is how to create a mastermind five-day masterclass or a five-day challenge for your business. And so this one is complete as well. So we're just now starting this mastermind this month. And, okay. uh, and then it goes into some private coaching and then we do tribe trips and from there, and we've got a tribe trip here in South Florida coming up this coming weekend, not tomorrow but a weekend <laughs> later june 25th okay. and okay. locally well, locally we're doing a tribe trip um here in the lancaster area right outside of columbus we're doing uh, the lancaster festival lady a is going to be there so we're all going to meet up for that for those that are close enough and so from there um you know i've got a free ebook and here is a book that i'm a co-author on that's going to launch september 6th and then we have our whole speakers cabinet. If anybody is a speaker or needs a speaker, if you're interviewing folks and you need a speaker, feel free to tap. I've got several from Canada in there. Some of my best friends are in Canada, a Hamilton area, actually. This yes. is my calendar. You can go to the calendar. This is what shows you at a click everything I've got going on. Here's where we are right now in this Connections right. Over Coffee. But then okay. I have a podcast. And after that, I do have my blog post. Okay. And, and after that, it tells how I give back around the world and then some testimonials and Debbie's in there. There she is. <laughs> and then my certifications after that. So that's the whole website. Um, 
now if I can stop my share here. Anyway, that's where you'll find everything. And the calendar is the easiest because if you click on the calendar, it gives you either the registration link or the actual Zoom link. Okay, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, ladies, I hate to interrupt, but I, I have to run. <laughs> yes, hey, thank you for everything. Thank you for all that you're doing for those turtles. Yes, thank you. I appreciate that. We'll see. I've had little ones like this, and I've had a big snapping one that I got told to leave in his box because he's mad. So I don't know what I'm oh, getting. Oh, you don't know what to expect. Oh, okay. yeah, don't open the box. You're going to bite. Okay. So I don't know what I'm going to get. But anyways, till next time. Thank you. Sorry I had to. It was late. Now I have to. Nope, I get it. I get Thanks. it. Make the point. So enjoy. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Okay. Well, that explains that. And I can look for more on your website and see what else might be interesting. And um, tap into as many free things as you want. I mean, you know, just check it out. If it's something you want to check out, all the free stuff is there. And then if you want to do any of the masterminds, um, instead of clicking through and paying for two of them, I'm, I'm doing giving you two for the price of one, because a lot of them go together. Like if you're doing the build a better business, the blogging one kind of goes with that or the writing one, the blogging one kind of goes. So, so you can do two for the price of one. So if there's okay. a couple that you'd like to try or join in, just let me know. I'll take a look at that. Perfect. And maybe I'll show up next month and talk a little more too. <laughs> no, you're perfect. I'm glad you're here. Thank you for visiting us this morning. Yeah. So yeah. is there anything that's exciting that is right is on your list, you know, top and center that you're focused on? For me, we leave Sunday for Florida because I have a, a condo in Sarasota. I bought it a year ago, a little over a year ago now. And um, and we're, we're flying down on a Legion out of Columbus, out of Rickenbacker, and we're gonna land right there in Sarasota. And, um, and I still have to order my car today to pick us up because we get in really late Sunday night, like at midnight. So um, the airport stuff is all gonna be closed. So I have to make sure I have transportation from the airport over to our condo. So I have to do that yet today. Um, anyway. Once we get there, we're going to be there for just a couple of days, and then we drive. We have a car down there. We just leave it there. We drive from Sarasota across Florida all the way kind of east and south down to the Miami area to Delray Beach, and that's where our tribe trip is this month, and then June 24 and 25, we're going to be in Delray Beach, and um, there's an actual um, speaking event where the co-authors were all going to meet for the first time, the co-authors of the book um, to, to speak, um, lead and impact. And we, we meet for the first time. And then each of us get a time slot on the stage to tell about our portion of the book. And there's already a hundred tickets sold. So there's going to be a room of a hundred people and we each get to get on stage and talk. And I'm a little nervous. <laughs> because she doesn't want us to have any notes. And of course, in an environment like this, I can talk all day long, but to put me up on stage with a hundred people looking at me and, and to stay on point, I'm just a little nervous. So that's what's going on in my world right now. And um, we are staying at a bed and breakfast. There's uh, our tribe, my tribe, the Kathy Benner tribe. We are all staying in an Airbnb together. Um, and there's, it's, I don't know, it's got three or four bedrooms. And so we're all just sharing the cost of an Airbnb about seven miles away from the event center. So we're going to go there um, Friday night and then Saturday morning, we're going to drive over to the event kind of early and make sure, you know, that we're ready to go. And, uh, and then it's time to get on stage and do our thing. Now, I know I'm sharing the stage with other folks, um, but when I look through the roster, there's some international speakers that are also one of the co-authors. And I, I just, um, it's the story I'm telling myself is that they're going to be such, such a dynamic speaker that, that I'm, I'm going to look like the kindergartner and, and it has me concerned. <laughs> So, so there I'm being vulnerable. That's where I'm at. I'm just a little nervous about, you know, being up on stage and, uh, and uh, just staying on point, I guess, and not rambling on and boring this hundred person audience. <laughs> you, so, you, won't bore, you won't bore them. You, you won't. You'll be good. I'm, I'm hoping. Sure. I, I just, I need to change 
the voice of what I'm telling myself. It's the story I'm telling myself right. is, that, oh, you're going to be nervous. Oh, you're not going to stay on point. Oh, you're, you know, and I need to change what I'm telling myself. And I know that, but knowing that I need to change that and actually changing that has been my struggle this week. And but I you keep journal, telling myself. You journal about that, right? You write those things down for yourself every morning or so? Yes. Good. <laughs> yes, I do. I do. Yeah. I have, I have a question. Sure. So this book, Our Time to Rise, is that the Steve Pipe Paul Dunn book? Yes. That's $45 on Kindle. If you go to my website, there's, yeah. a, free, there's a free link. A you can free that's link? what I did. You can that's what I did. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, right. go to my website and, and go to, I believe it's even in the free meetup, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, okay. see, Debbie, Debbie just downloaded it. I um, did. Yeah, let me let me look here. Get back up here to the. <laughs> it might make me sign in to the. Um, yes, I think it's going to make me sign in. But when you scroll down. Um, right here is the link to the free ebook. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if it lets me. There, it's in the chat. Okay. Now, can you save the chat? Do you know how to save the chat? Yes. Mm, no. Okay. If you go to the chat, if you open up the chat, your computer might have three little dots that says more if right. it doesn't have something that says chat it'll be under the more button and then when you open the chat yeah uh, once you open the chat make sure down at the bottom of the chat where you're going to send a message to everybody there's right. three little dots clear over on the right side and when you click on those it says save chat is the very top option no Pretend that you're going to, yeah, pretend that you're going to uh, say something to everybody. If, if you go to everyone in the meeting and it says, type your message here, do you see that little, like you're going to, oh, like, everyone, like, everyone, like, like you're going to actually make a chat, like you're actually going to type a chat. It, do you see that little box? Oh, shoot. Wait a second. Listen, but here, I can do this. Or screen print. Can... Yes. Yeah, That's you right. can do a screen print of it. Um, but if you're in the, if you're down there where you're actually going to type in a message, there's three little dots you, you see a little, your little uh, emoji smiley face. And then right to the right of that is three little dots. If you click on those, the very top thing says save chat. It's above yeah, where it yeah, says participate. Yeah, but I'm on, see, I'm on my phone. Oh, okay. Can... Do a screen print. Yeah. 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 Just open it up and do a screen print and that'll give you, that'll give you the, the book link. Okay. Yes. I see that. Kathy. Now. Yes. Kathy. Um, I was typing a message in and for some reason it is just allowing it to say direct message to you. It's yeah, not you saying. See, yeah. Do you see at the bottom where you're going to write a message? There's a little drop down bar. It says to everyone in the meeting, or you can individually mark who you want to send a message to. Do the little drop down bar next to, to uh, probably has my name. Yeah. Right. Next to my name where it says direct message, do that little arrow right next to my name and it'll say everyone in meeting. Yeah. Mine doesn't it's for some not, reason. That's, it's that's not unusual. Today. For interesting. Some reason, which is interesting because normally, yeah. And I didn't realize that I was direct messaging you. Yeah. Okay. Well, there. I sent it out to everyone. There's Debbie's phone number. Um, yeah, that's interesting that it doesn't give you that. Oh, option. no, right. so, but it's okay. I think, I think I can find it. So, <laughs> okay. There. That's all I'm worried about. <laughs> all right. So I can, yeah, I can find it and take a look at that. So I, I was just, I was just really surprised. Usually you don't see, um, what do I say? Like sort of, you know, self-development self-improvement books at that that high of a price mark on amazon right. mm -hmm. yeah oh. and again i don't have any control over the price point of that and but because I, I, no, it was just like yeah, i was hoping you would have a secret like this 
but because I wrote the the, right. uh, Forward. the forward, uh, yeah. I have the link, and so I can I can give it away on my uh, on my website. So excellent. Okay. And what's surprising is that it only gives you the one option of Kindle. It doesn't give you the option of paperback right. or it's anything. Like it's print ones, yeah, exactly. Okay. That was the other interesting thing. So anyway, I'm sorry I distract you from no, your. It's all good. It's all good. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, you gals can't can't chat out to everyone, and um, that's odd that it doesn't have that. Hmm. I will have to look because it. this is a new computer for me, and it could be that I have to go into my Zoom settings to see if somehow that got clicked yeah. off. Because yeah. it could be that since this is a new computer for me, um, that that got clicked off somehow. Okay. Well, we learned, we learned something this morning. That's yeah. Always, I'm all about that. All about the learning. And so um, everybody's got their contact information in there. So there's mine. So Carmela's is in there and Debbie's is in there. So feel free to connect with each other, uh, you know, in between. Um, and so anyone that wants to put your information in, you're welcome to put your info in there if you'd like. It's up to you. Uh, you don't have to, but it's up to you if you'd like to. And, um, and so I do encourage that you connect with each other in between. I know we're busy and we don't always. Carmel and I keep saying, we're going to get together one of these days. <laughs> you know, I, I thought about you, Kathy, because I didn't know if you went. I thought, I'll see Kathy when we go to, I was going to go to your niece, your great niece's graduation. Right. I was in Maryland, so I couldn't go. Right. We were so, in Florida. <laughs> so it's like, oh my gosh. And like this weekend I have the baby shower and today's Caden's birthday. So I'm like, okay, I'll call and wish him a happy birthday. And then I'm supposed to do the sound system at church Sunday, which is father's day because I've like got out of it for the past couple of weeks because I've been at weddings last weekend. I was in Cincinnati at a wedding. So I took my girlfriend because my husband didn't want to go because he thought it was going to be long and drawn out. And, <laughs> but it was a nice needed girl trip. Yeah. And, you know, Jade was in it. So it's kind of like these weekends are like, kind of like boom, boom. And I'm like, okay, what am I going to do? What's next weekend? But actually I'm going to put down in my calendar because Lancaster shit is not that far because I know I've been there to a wedding before, I think too. <laughs> It was like kind of like in this field or something that I went to. Yes, the Lancaster Festival, it's um, a large festival out at Ohio University and they have the big amphitheater out there and then they have long tables and the tables are a little pricey. Um, and But if you get lawn seats, it's like 40 bucks or something for lawn seats. And so we do the lawn seats because to be quite honest, it's more of a prestigious thing to be at one of the tables, but they've got the little folding plastic chairs. And oh, right. Evening, I've been to festivals like that. They're, yeah, they're... The chairs are so uncomfortable, and I would rather yeah. take a softer canvas chair, <laughs> camp chair, that I can sit back in and relax in a little bit. And if you go early enough, you can line your chairs up in, in the lawn seating right behind where the tables end. And oftentimes when I buy a, a seat at the table, I end up in the back row anyway. So I'm not hardly any different if I just go one more row and I'm in my own comfortable chair. And we just take a cooler and, and, and our own lawn chairs. And it's like a fraction of the price. You get the same, um, you know, a benefit. And then you can still walk around and you can walk. Uh, if you see your friends up at the tables, you can walk up and say hi and, oh, yeah. you know, and, and, uh, and chat. And so anyway, because we didn't want to make it so committed that we've got 10 chairs at a table, you know, because the table seat 10. And so you have to commit and you can't cancel once you pay, you know, blah, blah, blah. We thought, you know what, let's just do the lawn. And that way, if you can come, you can come. And if you can't, it's, you don't lose any money. And if you can come, you can, and we'll all just, <clears throat> you know, just let me know if you're coming so we can kind of get a meeting spot. So yes. we can meet up because it is a lot of people and it's hard to find each other unless you kind of have a meeting spot in time. So let me yes. know if you want to come and we'll have a meeting spot. Yes, Debbie. Can I give you a fun fact uh, event that happened? Oh boy, it's it's been it's been a few years. 
in okay. regards to the festival. Um, I don't know, Kathy, you might remember this. It was the year <clears throat> on, on Saturday night, the, and it was the last night of the festival. And, and I don't remember who was playing, but the uh, severe storms were going through. And Jim Ganahl, I mean, it was really bad, really bad. And of course, I had my mom and my son with me. And we had lawn seats. Um, and if you look back in the newspaper, um, you will see the, the article in regards to the car that was struck by lightning. What? Yes. And, and of course, everyone in the cars or that were parked in their cars had to get out and go in the building, right? Well, my car got is the one that got struck by lightning, blew everything out, everything, you know, all the smoke and everything came in the car and everybody's rushing to get us out. And yeah, so I, I have history at the festival. <laughs> oh my God. Wow, I had no idea. Yeah, I, yeah. I and then there was- like We always take an umbrella because there's always a chance of rain. So obviously I missed the one with the lightning strike. <laughs> well, and, and they were afraid of, of tornadoes. I mean, it was that bad. So, um, but yeah, yeah. And then, and it was funny how they did an- uh, I don't know, five, 10 year anniversary newspaper article. And there we were again. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. Now, Carmela, if you guys are planning on and you want to come down for that, let me know. I'll check and see if I have a room. Because oh, yes. uh, because I, I have a guest yeah, house. I, I have a guest house, a bed and breakfast. Again, it's a continental breakfast. I don't do a full breakfast. Uh, so we just advertise that we're a, a guest house, but I'll check and see if I have a room for that date. Well, put me down for that because I'm putting it in my calendar now. So I'm I'm coming. <laughs> I'm I'm kind of um, yep. I'm kind of looking now. Um, I've forgotten what the dates were on my twenty nine. So who did you say was playing or that you were going to see? Lady A. Lady A. Okay. Lady Antebellum, which is she's right. now Lady A. Right. No, I just I knew that I knew I knew that name. And so then it just went out of my head. Mm -hmm. you know, Here it is. is. Kathy, um, it's July 30th. Yeah, July 30th. That's what I was looking for. Thank you. Yes, July mm -hmm. 30th. And so if I look on my cloud beds, which is how I take care of my guests. Oh, we're totally booked. Yep, that okay. is that is our rib and jazz fest in Canal Winchester, and I have all the musicians staying here that are playing at the rib and jazz fest. All three rooms are booked with musicians. <laughs> oh, how exciting! Oh, wow. That's very so exciting. So I don't have a room. Darn, I'm sorry, well, Carmela. Well, you know what? I think I have a cousin that lives around there. <laughs> So I'll have to canal. So I'm like, maybe I'll have to or, go. Or, or just check Airbnb. There could be an Airbnb yeah. right in Lancaster that would have something. I would do it now because it, if you don't, yeah. they're already yeah. full. Yeah. yeah, they're already filling up. <clears throat> but anyway, let me know for sure so that we can come up with a meeting place and time so that we don't miss each other because there, there is a lot of folks there. Um, okay as you're coming in so yeah just send me under kathybinner.com you can either um you can either just send me a message in that or i'll put my phone number in here okay or you can just uh either call me or text me okay well enjoy your trip to florida i'm so jelly I know, I know. It's going to be fun. We haven't been for a couple of months because we, uh, we we bought a property in Hocking Hills and it needed rehab. So we started, you know, and Mark had all these, he works on airplanes and he was, um, you know, he had several air, airplanes lined up. And so we didn't get a chance to really rehab it. Well, then I get this phone call from a gal and she, and she's like, you don't know me, but we have a mutual friend and she's, you know, her husband just passed away. And they had been living in her husband's parents' 
second home. And once the husband passed away, the parents wanted her to go. Because, oh. Yeah. And so she's like, she really needs a change. She really needs to, you know, be on her own. And, and she really needs to basically get away from them. And so I was like, what? And so at that point, Mark and I talked about it and we said, why don't we step up the rehab process and offer her this Hawking Hills property, which the girl that called me is like 10 minutes away from that property. I told her, I said, the only thing I have empty is one we just bought. It's not rehabbed yet. She's like, we'll take it. And I'm like, no, 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 it's not done yet. And she's like, well, let us know when it's done. And I'm like, oh, no pressure there. So anyway, I talked to Mark about it and he goes, yeah, he goes, I think, I think we can step it up and do it. So she officially moved in yesterday. Oh, wow. and, nice. Yeah. And so we haven't been back to our condo because we've been working on that for her to get her in there. And, um, and she says it's so peaceful there. You know, it's in the middle of Hocking Hills. She's got an acre and a half. She's way out in the country. Nobody bothers her. She's got three little doggies that she just loves, little little French bulldogs. They are adorable. They are. And they just follow her around wherever she goes. These little French bulldogs just follow her around. And it's just adorable to watch. And, uh, and she said she thinks that she can have some time to, to kind of get herself back together and, and uh, you know, mentally, emotionally, physically, just kind of, you know, get through this, this, she's only 36. And oh. her, yeah. And he, he passed away with, uh, with the brain tumor, cancer brain tumor. Yeah. So, and so she quit her job the last three years she's been taking care of him. And she said, she just needs this time on her own away from people to just <laughs> everybody means well. And while I was there, yeah. you know, helping her on her first day, her first move in day, um, her best friend and her mom kept calling, you know, you okay, you okay. And she's like, I just, I just want to relax for a minute. So anyway, it'll, it'll happen. She'll, her life will get calmed down and she'll get settled in. And of course a big move is a problem too. And she wasn't expecting to have to do that. So it was, it's kind of emotional for her. Oh yeah. She was pretty, she was pretty emotional yesterday. Yep. So I, I know that I've been blessed and not, not that, you know, I've worked hard for what I have. Uh, you know, Debbie knows me from the beginning. I've worked very hard for what I have, but I, I don't overlook the fact that I am very blessed with what I have yeah. and with the knowledge that I've gained. And I'm not saying I know everything because I'm, I'm such a student and I'm learning every day. So there's always tons of stuff I don't know. But what I do know, I try to apply as soon as I know it, I try to put it into practice and it's worked for me and I've developed um, a nice little portfolio of, of real estate. And now I'm, I'm writing, which is what I've always said I wanted to do in my retirement is to write. And um, of course, I've written several ebooks. Now I'm getting published in this book, this called to, to speak uh, and lead and impact. And um, through all of that, um, I was, I just had an offer to write an article for a, a Columbus magazine. So I just submitted my article last night. They want me to be the freestyle uh, writer for the freestyle section. Every time they publish, they're going to publish quarterly, a, a quarterly magazine in Columbus. So quarterly, I'll be publishing a freestyle living article. Um, oh, cool. so I'm excited about that. So I was offered to do that. So yeah, you know, you can just see as, as, as you see that slightly illuminated path where you, you feel your life should go, if you just kind of um, tune into your intuition and, and, and let life unfold, it just, it unfolds beautifully and it just takes you down the, the path that you're supposed to be on. But you have to have your, your antennae up a little bit to recognize that path. Um, and that's where I think a lot of us are so busy that we sometimes miss the turn <laughs> in the back. And so, so if I could encourage you, and I think Carmela's getting a couple of nudges to write a blog. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm so, <laughs> so if I could encourage you to just, you know, kind of pay attention, uh, you know, sometimes the path looks the same both, both ways at the fork in the path, and you have to really use some discernment and intuition to know which, which way to go. So, um, but I've always said, and, and think back about what you, what you really felt in your heart 
early on in your early days, and Debbie, you're going to smile at this. When I was 12, I would read like a book a week as a 12 year old. And I told my mom when I was 12 that I wanted to own a bed and breakfast and I wanted to be a writer someday. And I own the guest house and I'm starting to write. And so, hey, 65 is not too late. I mean, you know, you got to no, start. Never, too, <laughs> never too late. No. So anyway, so that's my <clears throat> encouragement for today. Okay. So thank you everyone for coming. Uh, and again, if you want to come uh, on the tribe trip there in, uh, you know, July 30th, just let me know so I can come up with a meeting spot and a time and all of that. And, uh, be and another one of the, I think there'll be another one of these before that July yeah. 30th date. So yes, yeah. yes. There's I'll just, going to be one in July. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll put that on my calendar and put the July 30th date on my calendar and do a little more research on you between now and then. So well, everything you can find on my website, kathybenner.com. Yeah. yeah, I found it. <laughs> Perfect. All right. Any last comments, Carmela? Anything you'd like to share before we go? Um, nope, just trying to slow it down. So hopefully I can, <laughs> but I will be contacting. I know I say we're going to do it, but it's just like, oh, I know um, I get it. But well, you like, were close. <laughs> yeah, I know. Right. <laughs> um, but yeah, hopefully soon I'm trying to do that self-care mm -hmm. and take that time and like block out my husband said he's actually proud of me because my phone was ringing the other day when we, and I didn't answer it. He's like, <laughs> what? You're not answering your phone. I go, I just can't. I just need to like decompose. And, you know, now on Friday nights, we may watch a movie on Hulu or Netflix. And believe it or not, Kathy, you know, my husband. So his idea, we have like a thing he takes me to the nail salon and we both get pedicures what so and he pays for it now i'm like you know mine are expensive because i got to get the gel and maybe. right <laughs> so he doesn't care but then that's like our time together yeah. he gets one and i get one so i'm like that's like our coupling so i we're love it to do those <laughs> things so i'm proud of him I love that. I love that. That oh. is so fun. Tonight we are going to, and I never can remember the name of the ballroom, but it's, it's here in Columbus. Let's see if I can't pull it up and uh, see if the name, yeah, my memory these days, see if it comes up. But anyhow, there is a swing dance club and they are going to be there tonight and um, Valleydale. So tonight at 7.30, we're going to be at Valleydale um, on um, Sunbury Road. It's 1590 Sunbury Road. It's at 7.30, and there's a swing dance club that do the hip hop, and they're coming tonight. So it is going to be live, a live orchestra, by the way. And it's going to be so much fun, and this hip hop group is going to be dancing on the dance floor and, and, uh, and so it's going to be like a floor show. It's going to be like you'd go to a Vegas floor show and you get to see this live orchestra and these hip hop dancers. So that's what we're doing tonight. Oh, that's fun. A <laughs> I'm just going to a line dance party tonight. So it's not quite. Well, now that's fun too. That's fun it too. Is, oh no, I enjoy it a lot. It's just, we, we have canned music uh, and line dancing, but it's still, I, I enjoy it. It's a lot of fun. I get yes. it. I get it. Yes. I'm, I'm a line dancer from way back. Yes. I get it. So it's, it's fun. I like all sorts of dancing. So, you know, it's funny last weekend, um, this wedding reception was in, it was the second wedding of the one girl I told you about. Cause I went to the first one in September. Yeah. This one was her American wedding. And my one girlfriend that went with me, she says, man, Carmella, I didn't know some of the moves you had. You were like, like the young kids, you were dropping it like it was hot. And I'm like, listen, I have a daughter. I can't embarrass her. But <laughs> of course I had one too many um, dirty martinis. And so she's like, oh my God, mom, I can't believe you. But it's not like I was like yeah. out of my mind, wasted or anything like that. But it was just like, you can only have one drink. And I'm like, listen here, you know, mama's a big girl. I'm going to have fun, you know, and enjoy it. And it was formal, so I had a long evening gown on. Last night, I had to wear 
uh, evening gown to the gala that I went to. Okay. And everybody's like, I'm like, you know, I'm like shopping. I told Farley, I'm like, I'm going to have to start buying more gowns because everybody's doing this stuff. And tonight there's a black and white um, party where you're supposed to, I'm like, oh my gosh. And it's formal, but you know, it's been fun getting dressed up and everything. Um, My heels came off last weekend because I normally wear wedges and, you know, block heels because I just can't do the other ones. And I had three inch spikes. So halfway into it, I'm like, my feet are swollen. And I went barefoot. Nobody could tell except when they saw me the long dress, dress, but I'm like, okay, there's certain things as I get older, I cannot do anymore. I'm just going to have to put it out, but I did it for a while, you know, so, but it was fun. Excellent. Were were you able to wear the same dress for all three events? No, I bought a different one. I guess it was my excuse to shop. So I have this one black one that I wore last night. My husband, I stopped by the office afterwards because it was at our civic and convention center. And he goes, oh my gosh, the slit in the front on the side came up to almost my hips. And then I had like heels on with it. And then it's kind of off the shoulder. And then I had the right necklace and my like, you know, fancy jewelry. So, and he was just like, oh my gosh. And then I wore a bright red lipstick and everything and had my clutch. And I said, a lot of your friends that were there, hon, I says, they were hugging me. They couldn't believe it. It was like, who is this woman? I said, I clean up really good. (laughs) I said, it's almost like when I was a kid, you like dressing up as a young girl. And I said, and here I get to do it for real. So, but it was fun. And it was, you know, it was for a good cause too. So I like it. Can you guys still hear me at all? Yes. Yes. Okay. My, my video went out. Remember Debbie, I was having trouble with my camera. Well, I got a new computer, but I think it's my little clip on camera is the problem because it just stopped, but my, my audio still. And ladies, (laughs) I need to drop just, I have something else I have to do, but it was really great to meet you and hopefully I'll see you next month. Yes. Thank you everyone. And we will see you again next month. So see everybody. Bye. Bye. Bye.